Fisher, Ezra Miller, and Jason Momoa! Ever since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a father. But never in my life did I ever think that I would be an actor. I was raised in small town America, surrounded by hard work, cornfields, and pigs. My uncles and grandfather were the hunters and builders of the Midwest. I was raised by a strong single mother. My mom's an artist in every way. She's a painter, a photographer, she's a wanderer. Always searching, always seeing. I guess you could say my mom gave me her eyes. My mom introduced me to skateboarding and rock climbing. And I absolutely love her for that. Because skateboarding, it, it gave birth to a style for me. It wasn't just the skating, it was the music. It was the crew, the underground. Architecture was forever changed. You wouldn't believe how much fun you could have on a curb. And climbing, it made me face my fears and my doubts. Explore the impossibles, problem solve through movement. I learned to trust my hands, find my feet. I found balance and I found my passion. I wanted to see the world climbing. I craved the road, the wild. I wanted to get out, explore it all. Camping, fires, playing music, telling stories, living in the dirt, eating crackers and sardines. I was a dirt bag. There's not a care in the world. I packed up my life and I put it on my back. Free to wander, everywhere, from Tibet to France, Italy, Japan, everywhere USA. My travels made me a student of life. Somehow that path led me to a crossroads. And at the end of that road, acting cornered me. She seduced me. For an anxious young man, it finally allowed me to be anything that I wanted to be. The wonderlust gave way to direction and purpose. I could be a barbarian or a bartender. I could be a savage cull or the king of Atlantis. Nineteen years I've been doing this. And I'm an actor, I'm a director, I write and I produce. I found my path. I'm a craftsman. My craft is storytelling. And then it happened. She came. My muse, the love of my life. My partner in crime. I felt stupid, crazy, madly in love with her. My wife gave me three beautiful, feral kids. Zozo Bear, Lola Bear, my lovey, and the wolf. And with them, my dreams finally came true. So I'm a father. I found my place, my home. And like any father, we want our children to see us doing what we love. But now, my passion for storytelling pulls me away for long periods of time. And that scares me. The nomadic lifestyle that once inspired me and now takes me away from the things that I love most. My Ohana, my family. I'm afraid of what I'm gonna miss. The laughs, the cries, being able to help them, teach them. I don't want to miss those moments. If I think about it, I only have five more years, five summers, and I'm not the center of the universe.
I decided to surround my children with who I am. With music, painting, all my art forms. Because if I teach them to skate, then they can surf or snowboard. Ultimate balance, bold and brave in any terrain. And if I teach them to climb, then they can push themselves to the limits, gracefully move through fear and doubt. To learn respect for our natural resources. Because if they can admire nature's truest colors, then they can begin to see the beauty in all things. To be aware of those inconspicuous and overlooked details of life, I want to give them my eyes. They will know art. They'll paint. They'll sculpt. They'll understand light and darkness and composition. To find their soul. And that's where the music lies. The soul. We teach them to play. Because if they can play, they can sing. And if they can sing, then they can dance. And when you dance, you celebrate. It is all connected. These lessons will teach them expression of self. And if I build it, then I can teach them hard work, dedication, integrity, a moral code. Now every time my children play, they can feel that their papa is always with them. Since the moment I left my mother's house, to the moment that I built a home with my wife. From the ultimate highs to the lows that brought me to my knees, there has been one constant. Something that stayed with me through all of this. Like a home on the road, a comfort disguised as armor. I see it every time that I look down at these tattered old pants is my battlefield. From the paint to the stitches, every scratch, ding, laugh, and cry is recorded in these pants. Every mark is a memory. Every tear adds up to the life I always wanted to live. Everything I am is in these pants. And there will come a day when I'll be gone, and my children, or my grandchildren, they will find these beat up old cards in a dusty corner somewhere. And they will know, this is the canvas of my life. <laughs>